Well, we did. We unlocked the Museum of History, and we have a good friend, Sharon. Hello, say hi, Sharon. What do you need? Did I just want to say quick hello? And I shall. Fu All right, whatever. This is not the most interesting guy. We collected uh, the artifacts of Lincoln. We got some Lincoln stuff. Oh, that's the Washington Memorial. I think this is where we need to take a little thing. And I don't refer to my penis. I'm talking about the thing to repair the the radio. Okay, yeah, this is where we go. So, up ahead, what do we have? We have the National Archives and the Museum of Technology. I guess might as well go to the museum, right? Yeah! We got trenches and everything. Found you. Where? We got I got the Lincoln repeater. That's over. There we go. Bring a gun. Is I guess I was gonna say it's just a reskin of another gun that we have, but no, it's actually the opposite way. But this one we can fix with hunter gear. Sharon, don't don't get don't get in trouble, my boy. Go. Glad that's over. I'm glad that's over too. I'm glad you survived that. A couple of things around here, I believe. Like, uh. <laughs> Oops. My bad with that one. Come on, Sharon, help me out with this this guy. Ow. There we go. And those guys are toughy. Alright, let's go here. Bunker! Dude, I'll lose the thing. Lose the thing. Alright, he won't he won't lose the thing, I guess. There we go. Oh my god, he died? Oh no... Oh no... I mean, honestly, with his brain damage and everything... I guess... Uh, Alright, goodbye, Sharon. Sorry that that happened to you. I'm gonna be honest with you, I wasn't really expecting him to survive for too long. That's the problem with companions in this game, you know? They die too easily. Brother is still initiated. Give me your whole attack. Mmm, num num num. Num num num. Leave me alone, guys!
Okay, okay. No whole lot of point in fighting all these guys. We just, we just gotta, just gotta enter to. We just, we just gotta enter to a place. It will be free. Ah, no wonder uh, Abraham Lincoln won the like the war or whatever. Ow! His rifle was really strong. Okay, well, give me this. Fuck off. There we go. Link has repeated that we can fix with. Yeah, so nice. Okay, uh, this is the Museum of Technology, right? The National Archives. You know what? Sure, we can we can plunder the National Archives. Why not? The National Archives. What interesting goodies we can get here? More Lincoln shit, probably. National Archives, guess and win! Answer all eight questions correctly and win! Okay, question one. The Declaration of Independence was an act of what, buddy? Uh... The Declaration was an act of what, buddy? I don't, I don't know. Second Continental... Correct! Okay, I guessed that one. How many North American colonies rebel against Great Britain at 17076. Uh, hold on. There wasn't. There were like seven colonies. Incorrect. Okay, whatever. Whatever. <laughs> I suck at. I suck at those. Get your ass over here if you want to live. And watch out for the mines. A uh, quick. They're coming. Lock and load. They'll be here any second. <laughs> over here. Where? Bring it. All right, lady. All right. There's always a second wave. Hey. Okay, <laughs> rocket rocket launcher first. Holy shit. I'm glad that's over. All right. Hello. Whew. Say, you're pretty decent in a firefight. Yep, sure I am. Ho ho. Do I detect a hint of wit? Rare to run into that in the capital wastes. Sorry, I'm being a complete ass. You you are being I'm an Sydney. asshole. <laughs> it's good to meet a fellow relic hunter. What do you mean, fellow? I'm not looking for anything. I'm just passing through. Passing through? <laughs> Come on. You and I both know this is where the Declaration of Independence is stashed. Good old Abraham Washington sent you on the same suicide mission he sent me on. Got news for you. There's no way in hell you're gonna get it without my help. Uh, okay. Uh, first of all, no, I didn't meet whoever that was. Second, uh, yes, I probably could. Who's so stupid enough to shell up a bunch of cash for a scrap of paper? Guy sounds like a fucking idiot. Hold on there, you need to tell me who you are before you agree to anything. I told you already. I'm a relic hunter, just like you. I turn bits of trash into caps and then get my ass drunk. I've studied the plans to this place. So without me, you're going to go in circles. What do you say? Uh, nah, no interested. Fine by me. I've waited this long to get the declaration. I can wait till someone smarter comes along. Don't try and follow me. Not that you could. Not that you could. What an asshole. Holy crap.
All right, give me, give me the goodies. All right. All right. Uh, yeah. What a, <laughs> what a complete fucking. Oh, the scotch. No more. Kids. Ouch. Okay. You know what? Maybe the, maybe the, maybe the. What's the, what's the good, what's a good weapon for this? Oh, the metal blaster, huh? There we go. That's what I. That's what I. Good focused laser does. Nice. Fuck off. I won't be going in circles. Who do you think she is? So the declaration. Leave that out, please. Oh. Ow! Man, those actually hurt a lot. Yeah, give me those. Oh! It was a trap! Oh. Well planned, well planned. Was you, lady, whose name I keep forgetting? Alright, I also I suppose the the declaration of independence should be somewhere uh down, not up. Let's keep exploring this floor first and then we'll see where we're going. Out okay, what what why am I taking so much damage? There we go. Let's go to the upper floor first. Huh. Uh, Administrator Barclays Terminal. Alright, let's unlock this real quick. Let's see what, what little stupid lore we got about the place. Okay, Notorious, no. Carpeting, happy. Okay, happiness. It was happiness. Administrator Burke, notice. Blah, 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 blah. I'm recording this as a formal complaint on behalf of the U.S. Department of Records. MedTech Lab had just sent their last shipment of fruit mentats to load into the Price Redemption Terminal outside of the rotunda. I do not appreciate this moment monument of the U.S. history being used as a test ground for medtech this is supposed to be a place of solemn introspection not a laboratory in the future when we chose sponsor for our exhibit i appreciate being consulted beforehand right i forgot so those questions if you answer all of them correctly they give you different flavors of mentats but again we have full stats so they're kind of pointless notice uh, a couple later Please note that the Rotunda cargo lift has now been fitted with a full security lockout system to prevent unauthorized access and tampering. As of today, the only way to use the lift from the Rotunda side is to patch a maintenance terminal directly into the floor that data ports. Okay, notice a couple more later. If anyone has information regarding the, the swapping of the voice software from our Thomas Jefferson Protectron, performer with a radio uplink and frequency software, please stop by my office. I can appreciate humor just as much as anyone, but certain individuals working at this facility feel the need for constant mischief uh, and feel the need for constant mischief and it has to stop. Yeah, don't be an, don't be an ass. Be an ass. Safe. Archive Pras Boucher. Okay. Might as well. So, can I exchange this for the mentats I wanted? Let's test it. Alright, uh, no. How about this? Price Redemption Terminal! Redeem Boucher. 
We can get obs uh, glamorous great man tats, brilliant berry man tats, observator. I guess one, one for each. Or how much do we get? Oh yeah, we got one of each. So the berry man tats give you five intelligence. The gray man tats give you five charisma, and the orange man tats give you five perception. All right, good to know. All right, we'll we'll go from this end. We explore the second floor. On this area, and we'll continue through here. Alright, good to know. Good to know that we have some good, good stuff for passing checks and stuff. That three beam laser hurts, hurts a lot. Right, grenade. Right, well, nothing here. Uh, let's see. Can we just take the elevator? Or oh, it said that we couldn't. All right. We need to. We need to pick a lock or activate a terminal. Better said. That should be fine. You are not gonna do anything. Let's try to sneak this this one around. Ooh. All right, maybe not. Ah. That's okay. That did. Ow! Really? <laughs> Door to the mall, okay. So this is just a side entrance. Game's over. This place is full of like hands and and stuff. Oops, broken. That's okay. I only, I'm only, I'm only mostly forced those, those because eh, I mean, at this point we don't actually need all that much to be survived. We need very few resources to keep afloat. And this is the other side. So yeah. See, we're, we're not going in circles. If anything, I want to complete the circle. To know that we explore all of it. You know? All right. This is the subdermal to the basement. Should be easy enough. Hold on. Uh, let's let's clear the gas over there. Uh, I don't know if that actually helps <laughs> at all. At all. Just... 
There I here I am. Yes, I am. Come on, Declaration of Independence. If I was a Declaration of Independence, where would I be? Probably behind some kind of glass or safe or something. Very hard. Damn it. Too much. There we go. Well, a mini nuke, I guess. That's That's fine. Door to Archival Security Wisp Inc. Okay. So this is the e elevatory. Men, today I address you with a message of utmost urgency. Our defenses have been breached and soon we'll engage the enemy. Remember, the will of the people is the only legitimate foundation of any government and to protect its free expression should be our first object. Men, we can't let the enemy's progress dissuade us from our task. We must That's true, Mr. President. I cannot let them stop me. Man, that's full of gas. I ain't afraid. It's fine. Feel a little bad. They give me all of this stuff to be like, hey, you can, hey, you know, you can use this to kill robots. And I'm like, no, thank you. I'm good. Ow. I was, I was feeling a little cold. I want, I want, a, I want a little warm up, you know? Yeah, no, so tough when you're in a little small space like this, huh? When they're like, when they're like 50 feet, okay, 50 feet of far away from you. Oh, I could have just opened this. Okay, cool. In a white space, you were rocks and shit, sure. But when there's a little tiny little containment, you know. We cannot allow the enemy to penetrate our defenses any. <laughs> it said penetrate. That's funny. <laughs> I see you. Take that, that, take that. Archive security key. The Bill of Rights. Uh, I don't know what the Bill of Rights does. I think it has like... Uh, does someone can tell me what the Bill of Rights has? I actually don't know. I don't even know all that well what the Declaration of Independence does. It's like, I believe it's what when they... Where they officially became like a country, right? Like... They finally stop being like a colony. That's that's the thing. Like they, they declare like, oh, we're independent of those fucking British. That would happen, right? Mercenary. I guess all of these guys dead are people sent from that guy, Abraham Washington. What a name. Digging dip. The enemy is at the gates. Now is the time for the greatest of rallying cries. Wish not so much to live long as to live well. You've breached our defenses. Evaded our best soldiers and you've raided my home. I didn't evade them, I just I blast them. Fight. 
I cannot allow you to steal our freedom. The Declaration must remain here. It is our symbol of hope, the one thing that cries out we are a free nation. Hmm, you must be Baron Gwynneth, second signer of the Declaration. Then my reputation precedes me. Good. That should make you well aware that I am not to be trifled with, and that my loyalty to the States is legendary. I know your fighting prowess far exceeds my own, but I will still duel you to the death if I must. What will it be, then? Rapiers? Pistols at dawn? Out with it! That's quite brave of you to potentially sacrifice your life over the document. This is no mere document, sir. This is the doctrine laid down by my fellow members of the Second Continental Congress. It absolves us of the tyranny of King George III of Great Britain. It is perhaps the greatest symbol of this free nation. Hmm. Is there some way we can make a compromise? Broken promises and deceit may be the way of Great Britain's crown, but I will not succumb to such tomfoolery. Since it appears you wish to resolve this without bloodshed, may I suggest you stand down and surrender? I can promise that you will be treated well, in a manner accustomed to any member of the Royal Army. Do you know what? There is more to this than you realize, Button. Please explain, but I warn you, I am well versed on the tactics of the underhanded Redcoat spy. You do well to remember that. I'm Thomas Jefferson, and I return to liberate the Declaration. Saints alive! It is both an honor and a privilege, sir. I was hoping this day would arrive. I hope these fortifications are up to your high standards, sir. All of my men await your command to push and retake the capital. May I ask where you intend to bring the document? It will be carried out by our, by our new president, Abraham uh, Washington. It will be brought to the state house for. Uh, no, it will be president. Yeah, Abraham Washington. Sure, whatever. A new president? So the stars and stripes truly are forever. All hail the red, white, and blue. Does. Does this mean the war is over? Have we won? <laughs> uh, sure, whatever. Just give me the damn declaration of right now. Yes, button. We won! We won, my dearest Gwyneth! It's over? Amen to that. Then I suppose my posting here at the fort is complete. I think you said it best when you said, We in America do not have government by the majority. We have government by the majority who participate. It has been both an honor and a privilege to serve in the army of the United States. What are your final orders? Uh... Stand down and honorably relinquish your post. You earn our rest. Coming from you, that means all the world to me. It's been an honor and a privilege to serve my country. It's time for me to take a long needed rest. I think you'll find that the rest of my men are long due for the same. I hereby relinquish command and control of this fortification to you. Good luck to you, Mr. Jefferson. And give Sally my regards. Uh, she will, yeah, she, uh, yes. She will. Thank you. Thank you. Stand down. Yes, you turrets too. Stronghold security terminal. Uh, yeah, unlock all stronger rooms, unlock all east wing doors, unlock all max seal doors. There we go. Bottom supply where? Oh, yeah. All right. Microfusion cells is for sure. Bottom's wing. Oh, what is this? A unique item. It gives you five barter. It takes one perception away for, for some reason. It gives us one more intelligent, even though I don't feel smart wearing it. And it gives you a speech of 10. Let's see how we look. Alright, uh, where where do I have a nice source of light? There we go. Uh, hold on, how do I... Oh, there we go. There we go. I think we look a little dapper. So many in here. 
energy and microfusion cells. Makes sense, I guess. Yes, give me that. Give me the declaration of motherfucking independence. Hell yeah. All right. Well, enough of that. Give me my give me my normal normal metal mess back. Oh, John Hancock. Oh, man, buddy, I miss you. I want to play Fallout 4 just to just to get that buddy. All right. John Hancock. Bonnet Gwinnett. Uh, Benjamin Franklin, John Adams. I know some of these guys. Thomas Jefferson. Okay. Oh, so we can. Ah, uh, I wonder. I never tried this. I always just use charisma or robot expert or just violence. Edward Rudley. But I wonder if we can just be like program this robot with science and tell that to give us a thing. That would be a cool thing to do. Who's the fuck is this? Backup Protectron. John Wilson. All right. Maintenance terminal. Uh, B1 turn guy protection. The unit deciding, Bonnet Gwinnett, is suffering from a system memory leak. He had to flush the unit core CPU several times last month. He is getting all of his orders and directives confused. The unit reenactment subroutines are interfering with its tour guy subroutine, causing conflict action and scaring the visitors to our gallery recommend shutdown of this unit and replace of central cords so that's what's happening uh, automated turrets one of the automated turrets is constantly locking in its reset position it is not responding properly to the calibration nor will it track the targets properly the test targets properly this is likely to a tracking array being misaligned with his targeting laser. A common problem of all our automated turrets. Recommend replacing of tracking array. Alright. Mr. Hand the medical unit. Unit Ningle. Ning What Ningle? Whatever. Is back online after an extensive refit. Is re uh, I replace his surgical arm. Injector unit. Gyro stabilizer system. And thruster number three. The Unix central core has been reset and is now ready for service. Nice. Tour guy protector. If anyone has information regarding the swapping of the voices software from or Thomas Jefferson protector and performer with our radio uplink and frequency scanning software, please stop by me. Oh, okay, yeah. All right, so this is what we read about the prankster. All right, well, let's take the thing back. I got the the, the the thing in my back. You know? Cool. We gotta we gotta we gotta we gotta sell for profit when we get to Rivet City. This is not this is another way to go. Where's the way to go? It's over here. Uh, I don't know what that lady went. I stole the job from her, but I mean she wasn't really doing anything. Ah. And it's day. Lovely. Well, I guess we should go to the Museum of Technology for now. Ah, but I feel like we wrap up this episode pretty well with that location, huh? So how about we leave the Museum of Technology and fix it and all this square? For the next time so thank you everybody for watching if you enjoy the content please make sure to give a like to comment and subscribe and yeah we'll be seeing each other next time uh, bye bye